All right, Trooper Prince, talk to the people, man. Let them know it's getting ready to go down. What's up, guys? So I have a dumbbell uh, chest workout for you. All you're gonna need is two pairs of dumbbells, a heavy pair and a lighter pair, and you need a bench. Cool? Uh, of course, you can choose the weights that are right for you. I'm going a lot lighter today just for demo purposes. I'm doing a lot of reps, but um, you know, with these reps, I should get a little pump anyway. All right, so first move is gonna be a tempo bench press. Tempo bench press focuses on the time under tension. I don't know if you've ever heard of Tut, King, uh, King Tut. Uh, time under tension, Tut is king. So what you like to say. So the first thing we're gonna do is, using uh, time under tension, we're gonna work on our tempo. So flat bench, what you wanna do is move, and it's gonna count on your pace. One, two, three, up, right back down. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, one, two, three, up. Two, three, one, two, three. So notice I'm going slow on the way up, dropping right back down, slow on the way down, holding the bottom. One, two, three, up, two, three, one, two, three, five more, two, three, up, right back down, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm holding at every point except for the top point. That would be resting. Right now my chest is working the whole time. Two, three, one, two, three, two, three, up, right back down. Two, three, I lost count, we'll do one more. Two, three, right back down. One, two, three, four. All right, so that is a tempo chest press. Basic uh, grip position, going down, bringing the dumbbells down to the side of my chest. Not letting them rest on my chest, but I'm, hold, I'm hovering just above my chest, so my chest is working at the bottom, uh, but I'm not letting it rest. And then I'm going up nice and slow, keeping that time under tension, right? when you're. At the top, my chest is not really under uh, severe tension. It's the least amount of tension. So I want to, right here, I'm keeping control, working the muscle fibers, holding the bottom, keeping tension. So I'm keeping my chest working more by doing the tempos. Next, I'm going to do a partial to full, which also plays with time under tension. All right, but I'm specifically working on the bottom part of the, uh, of the, of the press, which does work the chest more than the triceps. All right, that top part of the press works the triceps, the bottom part, Focuses more on your chest, so we're gonna work double time on the bottom part of the, of the press. This is what I mean. So start with the chest, I'm gonna go up halfway, back down, so that's just the chest, and then all the way up full for, to get my triceps and chest involved for a full range of functional movement. All right, so down to the chest, half, full, half, full, got it? That, keep it up, nice control. Still gonna keep control of the tempo, not going super slow like before, but about a two second count. Pump, down, up, down slow. Pump, down, up, nice job with it. Always do a nice job with it, keep that full range. Notice I go to make the dumbbells touch the outside of my chest. Halfway up, light touch, all the way up. Money in the bank. All right, so that is exercise number two. And I'm giving you guys eight. I'm giving you guys eight of my favorite uh, chest uh, exercises using dumbbells on a bench. All right, so the next one's gonna be a pause press. Very similar, again, working with time and attention. I think that you guys you definitely wanna, if you're work, looking to build your chest, you definitely wanna start playing with the tempo. Definitely wanna start playing with the time and attention, making sure you're working your chest more than you're resting it. That's gonna be a key. If you're just flat, doing it fast, just going through the motions, just doing the reps just to get the reps, uh, listen, you, you're gonna build endurance, you're gonna build speed, you might even build some power, which is great, and I do that, I do some fast reps as well. Uh, but if you really wanna build that size, you wanna make sure you take time and let all the muscle fibers work. So now, so very similar to what we did with the tempo press, it's gonna be a pause press. So again, so I'm coming down, normal, one, two, three, four, five, press. This is where I play my speed. One, two, three, four, five, press. So I'm adding a little power because I'm pressing up kinda of quick. One, two, three, four, five. Press, got it, so I'm hovering, not letting it rest. Two, three, four, five, press. So I'm letting it, I might let it touch or I might keep it a centimeter off, but either way I'm holding it, my chest is working. Press, two, three, four, five, press. And granted, if the weight was a lot heavier, even though I'm pressing fast, it might look like this. That might be fast, but the heavy weight, right? But I'm right now, I'm using lighter weight, so, I'm pushing up as fast as I can, right? With control, of course. All right, so I feel that burn right now. I'm not even using very heavy weight at all because of that time and attention. All right? Pause press. 
a beautiful thing. Add it to your repertoire. Add it to the repertoire. All right, so that is number four, uh, three. We're going on to number four. I got more holds for you. Most of the, I'm starting off right now, just playing with that time of playing with those holds, playing with the tempo of how you're moving. This one's going to be an ISO press. Uh, this is used for many different moves. It works a lot. It works good for your biceps. I'm going to show you how to use the ISO press or the ISO movement for your, um, uh, for your chest. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one down, hover, and I'm going to press one while hovering. Two, three, four, I'm going to do five, five, bring it down, hover. One, two, three, four, five, hover. One, two, three, four, five, hover. One, two, three, four, five. Burn, baby, burn. Woo! That one does it. That one does it. That one does it. Add that one in, all right? All right, next one's gonna be more of a position uh, change than anything else. Still on the flat bench, uh, it's our fifth move. It's a hex press, it's one of my favorites. I like to superset it after. It is, you can go a lot heavier on this usually, for me and for most people I know. So maybe you hit one of those and then you superset. And I'm gonna do it like that so you can see what I mean. So let's say I just finished those ISOs. This is, I shouldn't do this to myself, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so let's say I finished those ISOs, right? I'm holding, I go, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, just to, to move it along. All right, one, two, three. This is where I would like to add in the hex press. So you put the dumbbells together like this, bring it down to your chest, press up. One, two, three. Now as I'm doing this, I'm also squeezing the dumbbells together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What a burn. Now, when I'm pushing, not only am I pushing those dumbbells up, I'm also squeezing them together, right? And getting that chest, um, engaging my chest by pushing those dumbbells together. And then when I push the weight up, really filling in that gap, right? And a lot of us want to fill that gap in, in our chest, get that bubble chest, right? That bubble chest, and hex, hex press right here, squeezing, working them inner muscle fibers in the chest. All right? Gave you the secret. I gave you the secret. Maybe don't share this page. Maybe keep this to yourself. Nah, share it with the homies, share it with the homies. Definitely share it with the homies. <laughs> All right, so next one we're gonna do, I got three more moves. This one's gonna be on the incline. All right, so incline. What does the incline do? The incline tends to put you at an angle where you can work your upper chest for the most part. Uh, so the next move I got for you is an incline fly, real basic, but the way you do it and the way you do it effective is what I'm gonna show you. So the incline fly, I'm gonna lean back. I went with the lighter dumbbells, by the way, for this. And what you want to do is you want to hold the dumbbells, palms facing up, head down. I'm going to go down to the side of my hips like this. This is as far as I go, down to my, by my pockets. I'm going to come bring the dumbbells up. And notice the, the dumbbells form a V, right? And I'm going to go about, about just chin level or eye level, no further than that. I don't want to go here. This is, I'm chilling right now. My chest just turned off. I don't want to do that. I want to keep my chest on. Right here is the last part of my chest work. That's where I'm going. So going wide, opening up the chest. Uh, chest. Opening up the muscle fibers, turning them on, right here, boom. Again, intentionally squeezing my chest together, just like I said in the hex press. I'm squeezing them bad boys together. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Give me a smooch, give me a hug, together. There we go. All right, going two more. Really feeling that. I'm also going for that nice deep stretch down by my pockets, opening up that chest. I feel that burn when I do that. Working from there, only my chest can get my, the dumbbells up from there. Right, the lower you go, you know, be mindful of your shoulder, keep control, keep the muscles engaged. Don't relax, keep the muscles on. But when you're down here, right, all the way up to here, my chest is on fire, it's screaming at me. I can hear it because my ear is right next to it. It's screaming at me, I bring it up, and that's what pull, starts pulling it up. The only muscle that can pull it up from there is this. All the muscles are working. In the end, bubbly chest. Bubbly chest, all right? All right, so uh, next one, twisting incline press. I'm gonna go back to the heavier weights. Uh, maybe not as heavy as your flat, depending on your, your current strength. Uh, this one is a goodie. What you're gonna do is hold the dumbbells 
like this uh, for the chest press. When you press up, I want you to twist your hands to underhand. Twist up. Got that? Down, twisting back to start position, twisting up, squeezing the chest together at the top. Bring it down to the side of the chest, twist, press. Also bringing the dumbbells together when I press. So wide, together with the twist. Wide, together with the twist. Got it? Four more. Ooh. Bring it down all the way, full range every time. We know it's the slow movement, the control, not just twisting and moving fast. That part is important. All right? Last move. Um, this one I like to do at an incline. You can do this flat. Uh, I can do it at a slight incline for this one. This is an uh, around the world fly. All right, so kind of combines a lot of stuff. So start here, I'm gonna drop over my head. I'm going around. Bring the bottom of the dumbbell together. Squeeze them on the chest, they're on fire, and come back around overhead. A little push at the top, kind of like that fly we did before. Making a big circle, take it around the world. This is a great one. Hit all parts of the chest. Whatever part you missed, this will fill in the gaps. Pun intended. <clears throat> you have parts of your chest you want to fill in, you're not hitting it, your body tends to work one part more than the other, hit it all right here. Can't run away from hitting all muscle fibers when you go around the world. Whew, okay, one more. Chest is screaming. This is lightweight. <clears throat> Money in the bank. Money in the bank. I love chest exercises. I love the versatility I can use dumbbells to get what I want from my chest, to build size, to build strength, to build endurance, all that stuff. Uh, Push-ups are great too, but the dumbbells definitely add a great dynamic to really challenge those muscle fibers. Um, I hope this helped you. Um, my name is Trooper Prince. Check me out on my YouTube page, Trooper Prince. Check me out on Instagram, Trooper Prince. And uh, check out, uh, if you, uh, you're looking for 20 minute workouts like these where I'm walking you through it, motivating you through it, pushing you through it. I have an app called Trooper On Demand. You can get it on iPhone and Android. Uh, check it out, download it, get started for free. It's, uh, it's a goodie. So um, it was a pleasure. I hope this helped. Peace. Thanks a lot, Prince. Thank you.